Hello everyone and welcome back to Chardet Crochets. For this tutorial I will be using a medium weight 4 yarn. I'm using I Love This Cotton in the color Rosy. And it's kind of a softer cotton. I mean it's not extremely soft but it's pretty soft. I do recommend like a soft medium weight 4 or even a thinner medium weight 4. And then... I'll be also using an e-hook, which is a 3.75 millimeter hook, and then of course a pair of scissors. So let's go ahead and get started. Alright, so let's get started. Let's go ahead and make a slip knot. And we're going to be doing sizes um, small through 3x. So size small, medium, large, and 1x. You can go ahead and chain out 8 chains. And 2x and 3x, you can chain out 10 chains. So it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. I had too many. Okay. Alright, so once you have your foundation chain done, we're going to skip this first chain and double crochet into the second chain from the hook. So, yarn over, insert your hook, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. And we're just going to put one double crochet in every stitch across. So you should have either seven double crochets or nine double crochets. So 2x and 3x, you should have nine double crochets. And seven. Whoops. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, perfect. And from here, what we're going to do is just chain one and turn. And then we're going to repeat that row just by putting one double crochet in every stitch across. So we're going to just be repeating this simple row um, a few, quite a few times. So sizes small, medium, and large. You're going to repeat this row eight until until row eight is completed. Until you have eight rows total. Um, size one X. You'll need to do this until you have nine rows total. 2x uh, go until you have 10 rows complete and 3x go until you have 11 rows of this all right so this is what it looks like now once you complete your rows of repeats and then from here what we're going to do is go ahead and chain one and turn and this is the same for everyone so we're going to put two double crochets into this very first stitch so we'll be increasing right here so one and two and then we'll put one double crochet in every stitch across until we have one stitch left And then once you have your one stitch left, we'll go ahead and increase in that last stitch. So, and by putting two double crochets in that last stitch. So now we're starting our increases. And we're just going to repeat this row. So go chain one and turn. And then you'll just do the same thing by putting two double crochets in the very first and last stitch of every row. So we're going to be repeating this pattern. And so size, let's see, where's the repeats? Um, size small, you're going to repeat this pattern until you have, um, until you complete row 17. Medium, you'll repeat this pattern until you complete row 19. 
a large you're, you're going to continue until you complete row 21 extra large go into row 23 is finished um a 2x go until row 26 is finished and 3x you'll go until row 28 is finished so go ahead and repeat this pattern and I'll see you there all right so here's what it looks like so far and from here once you're done with the repeats of the increases we're going to chain one and then fasten off and we're just going to keep this handy for a few minutes just keep that to the side so from here we're going to start a new piece so go ahead and make another slip knot and um, from here we're going to begin to make a chain so size small you're going to chain 21 size medium you're going to chain 19 um, large you'll chain 25 extra large you will chain 23 um, 2x you'll chain 28 and 3x you'll chain 34 so go ahead and make your chain okay so once you've made your chain long enough for your size what we're gonna do is go back to our bikini bottom piece and this is where we left off here so I'm just gonna turn the work okay and I'm going to put a double crochet into this very first corner stitch. I'm going to try to do it over that tail. So I'm going to yarn over from where I'm at, yarn over, and then insert my hook into this first stitch. And it will twist on the first one, but that's okay. Pull up a loop and just try to hold it off to the side pull up a loop and then yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two and you just have to keep your attention when you do that so now we have our first one there and now we're going to put one more double crochet into this same stitch so it's just like we were increasing there and from there I'm going to put one single crochet all the way down until I have one stitch left and then I'll put uh, two double crochets in that last stitch all right so this is what it looks like so far once you finish your row just make sure you did do your increase in the last stitch by putting two double crochets in that last stitch and then from there we're going to go ahead and chain what we chained on the first side so it was 21 19 25 23 28 or 34 so go ahead and chain that out and I'll meet you there okay here's what it looks like so far and once you're done with your chain go ahead and chain one more for a turning chain and then we're going to put one single crochet into um, the second chain from the hook. So put a single crochet there. And we can kind of turn this so that we can work along this, um, this chain here. So uh, one single crochet in the first stitch. And then we'll chain five. One, two, three, four, five and this counts as a double treble crochet plus a chain three so then from there we're going to yarn over and skip three one two three and in the fourth the next one we're going to put a double treble crochet so skip three one one two three and in that fourth one we'll put a double treble crochet so yarn over twice insert your hook pull up a loop yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two and then we'll chain three one two three and then yarn over twice we'll skip three one two three 
and put a double treble crochet in the next stitch. So this pattern is what we're doing for the rest of this row. So go ahead and finish um, just chain three, skip three, double treble all the way down. So just make sure you don't skip any of these stitches because um, it'll line up pretty good um, if you just stick to the chain three, skip three. So I'll meet you there. Okay, so once you finish your repeat of this row, let's go ahead and continue. So from here, we're going to chain six. One, two, three, four, five, six, and turn. So that chain six counts as a double treble crochet plus a chain three. So from here, we're going to skip three, which is the three chain spaces, and then double treble crochet into the, on top of this double treble crochet here. So yarn over twice and go ahead and double crochet into there. Oh, my tension was bad there. <laughs> okay, so once you have that first uh, little box space made. Now we're going to start on our flowers. So go ahead and chain three. One, two, three. And now we're going to do our first puff stitch. So we're going to lift this yarn kind of like to the length of our finger and then hold it there and yarn over. And then we're going to insert our hook into this second chain from the hook here. So in there. And then pull that loop back up, yarn over, insert your hook, pull up a loop and pull it up high. That's two times we did it. And one more time, yarn over, insert your hook into that same stitch and pull up a loop and pull it up high. And that's our first puff, but we're not going to close this puff. We're going to do two more puffs before we close it. So from here, we're going to yarn over and do a puff stitch on top of this next double treble crochet. So yarn over, insert your hook into that double treble crochet and pull up a loop. And you just wanna make sure that this is about a finger length high. You want these all to be the same height. So yarn over again, insert your hook, pull up a loop, pull it up high, that's two times. Yarn over again, insert your hook, pull up a loop high. And that's three. So once you have the third one made, now we're going to do our last one, which is in this next double treble crochet. So just make sure that when you're doing your puff stitches that you're pulling them up high enough and about the same height as the other ones. So once you finished your third puff stitch, we're going to yarn over and pull through all of these loops on our hook and sometimes you have to wiggle them around a little bit but once you finish that and pull them all through then we're going to yarn over and close like chain one to close this puff stitch okay so now we have three petals made and from here we're going to chain two and just slightly pull this up a little bit and we're going to put one more puff stitch into this center circle of the three so yarn over insert your hook and do another puff stitch one two and three now we have that one on our hook yarn over and pull through all of those loops and chain one to close that so now we have four petals made and then from there we're going to chain one and do a double treble crochet into this next um, double treble crochet below okay so that is our um, first set of flowers of this row and now we're going to chain three whoops one two 
three and then put one more skip three and put another double treble crochet into the next double treble crochet below and then we're going to do our next flower so it's basically the same thing we'll chain three and then start on our first puff stitch in the second loop from the hook there one two and three and then we're going to make our next puff stitch into the next double treble crochet one two and three and then one more puff stitch in our next double treble crochet so one two and three yarn over and pull through all of those and chain one after to close that then we'll chain two and pull this up only slightly and then do another puff stitch in the center of the three two and three and then pull through all and then chain one to close so from there we'll chain one more and do a uh, double treble crochet in the next double treble. So you're going to go ahead and repeat this pattern until the end of the row. And um, actually, I'll meet you. So the second side should have two little box spaces here. So I'll meet you after we finish our last flower of this row. All right, so this is what it looks like um, once you finish your last flower here. And so from there, what you want to do is chain one more like we've been doing. After you chain one to actually close your puff, then chain one more. And then we'll be putting one double treble crochet into this second to last double treble. Two, pull through two, pull through two, and then we're going to chain three. One, two, three, and double treble into the third chain from the um, the third chain of the chain six. So one, two, three. That's the third chain. So you kind of want to try to go through both of these V's here so one two three and that'll help it be anchored whoops okay y'all I finally got it in there <laughs> okay double treble in there one two and three and so that's what your this last row of flowers looks like from here we're going to chain six again three four five six and turn okay so from here what you want to do is go ahead and skip three and put a double treble into this first stitch here one two and three and then we're going to chain three one two three and then we're going to put one puff stitch into the center of this ring here so yarn over and do your first puff stitch in there one two and three and then yarn over and pull through all of the loops on your hook and then chain one to close that puff stitch and then we'll chain one more and then from there we'll put a, another puff stitch into this ring so yarn over and do your next puff stitch one two three and then yarn over and close your puff stitch pull through all the loops and then chain one to close 
and then from there we'll chain three. One, two, three, and then we will um, do our next double treble crochet in the next double treble crochet. One, two, and three. Okay, and then from there we'll chain three. One, two, three, and then double treble crochet into the next double treble crochet. And then from there we will chain three and do our next um, flower, our next uh, two puff stitches. So we'll put our first puff stitch into the flower and then close that puff, chain one to close it, and then chain one more, and then we'll put our last puff of this flower into the center and chain one to close. So this pattern is gonna repeat, and so I'll meet you after we complete our last flower. All right, so once you complete your last flower by um, chaining one after you pulled through all the loops, um, from there what we're gonna do is chain three, one, two, three, and then go ahead and double treble crochet on top of the next double treble and chain three and double treble into the third chain of the chain six below so that's one two three that's there two three and you should try to get both loops. I like to go through the back bump and then push it up. That's how I usually get all of those. So that's what that looks like so far. And then from here, we'll just chain three or six, sorry, one, two, three, four, five, six, and then turn. And this next row, we're just going to go across by skipping three and double treble crochet in the next double treble crochet. Two, three, chain three. And we're kind of following the same pattern, um, but when you get on top of the flower, it's not a double treble crochet there. So. When you get to the flower, you'll chain three, skip three technically, but the third space is this space here. You'll see that bigger loop coming out of it is in there. So that's where we're gonna double treble crochet is in here. And then chain three. And yarn over twice. And then we're skipping three, but really you want to do the stitch that's like right after this puff stitch so you want to kind of grab this stitch here that's right after you'll see the back bump but on top is the v's so that's where you want to double treble crochet so chain three skip three and double treble crochet and just chain uh do your double treble crochets in these flowers as you get to them in these petal stitches as you get to them and i'll meet you at the end of this row okay so once you get here we're gonna go ahead and chain one and fasten off okay so this is the front side. So now we're going to start on the back side of the bikini bottom. So we're going to turn our piece around and we're going to um, reattach our yarn to, um, to this foundation chain. So what I'm going to do is actually connect it to our slip knot stitch. So I'm just going to put a double knot here and I'm actually going to put it on the outside 
one, two, then reclose my slip knot. Okay. And so I'm going to try to crochet over both of these tails as I go. I'm actually going to put a knot here where my slip knot is just to secure that slip knot from opening there. Okay. Now I'm going to crochet over those. Okay, so from here what we're going to do is... Um, pull up a loop so reinsert your hook and pull up a loop and then chain one from there you can kind of pull these knots to one side okay so after you chain one we're gonna start increasing right away so you'll want to um, put two double crochets into this very first stitch here one and two so there's two double crochets in that first stitch and then from there we will put one double crochet in every stitch across until we get to the end and we'll put two double crochets at the end of the row so um, I believe everyone should have seven except no everyone should have nine double crochets in this row because we're increasing except 2x and 3x you will have 11 okay so from here we're going to repeat that pattern by chaining one and turning and then we're just gonna do our first increase in the first stitch so put two double crochets into that very first stitch and then put one double crochet in every stitch across until you have one stitch left. And then when you have your one stitch left, you'll put another increase by putting two double crochets into the last stitch. Okay, so that is our pattern. And we're going to repeat that little increase there. Um, so size small, you're going to repeat it until you have 17 rows complete. Medium, until you have 19 rows completed. And that starts with this one being row one. So you, you should be able to see that with the foundation chain. So medium is 19 rows, large is 21 extra large is 23, 2x is 26, and 3x is 28. So go ahead and complete this repeat. And Okay, so this is what it looks like after you finish your repeats. And now we can continue. So the first thing we want to do is chain one and fasten off here. So go ahead and chain one. And cut the tie off so once you fasten off on the back we're gonna make a chain kind of like similar how we did to the front so go ahead and make your slip knot and size small you're going to chain out 13 chains a medium is 11 chains a large is 17 a 1x is 15 a 2x is 19 and a 3x is 25 okay so once you have the amount of chains for your size you're going to um, so this is where we left off so we're going to turn like we're working the next row <clears throat> and we're gonna crochet over that tail as we go so I have my uh, 13 chains here and then I'm going to yarn over and put a double crochet into this very first stitch and it does twist up some you just gotta hold it okay so you get your first double crochet there and then we're gonna put two in the same stitch and then from there we're just gonna put one double crochet in every stitch 
all the way down until we have one stitch left and in that last stitch we'll put uh, another increase put two double crochets in that very last stitch all right so once you have all of your double crochets done and make sure you do another increase in this second uh, in this last stitch go ahead and chain out the same amount that you chained before plus one more for a turning chain so I did 13 so now I'm gonna do 14 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 and 14 so once you have that chained out we're going to skip that turning chain and do a single crochet in that second chain from the hook and chain five one two three four five so from here this pattern is going to repeat we're as the same as the front side that we did um so i did a single crochet plus a chain five so that's going to count as a double treble crochet plus a chain three and then we'll skip three one two three and double treble in that fourth chain from the hook so this step is 100% the same as the um, as the front side here so if you want you can just go ahead and rewind the video just for a quick refresher the only difference is that once we complete um, this row of flowers and then one more row of empty um, chain spaces here once we complete this just like we did the front we're not gonna cut and tie off so go ahead and repeat that um, flower stitch the jasmine flower lattice stitch and I'll meet all right so this is what it looks like once you have the back finished and the front is slightly smaller there so what we want to do now is put on our quick border so what we're going to do is chain one and um, turn so from here what you want to do is put two uh, two single crochets in this first stitch in this corner stitch and then we're going to put three single crochets in the empty chain space two and three and then we're going to put one single crochet on top of the double treble and three single crochets in the empty chain space and one single crochet in the double treble so we're just alternating by putting um, three single crochets and then one on the double treble and three in the box space and one in the double treble so we're repeating that until we reach the next corner all right so this is what it looks like and then when you get to your last uh, empty chain space box here in the corner we're going to do three single crochets two and three and then you want to find that third chain of the chain six and uh, anchor your uh, three single crochets in the corner so you want to just make sure that you get two loops out of the three and then we're going to put three single crochets in this corner stitch so one two and three okay and that's how we round the corner so now we're going to turn it on the side and we'll do the same we'll be doing three single crochets in every empty chain space one two three 
and then we'll be putting one single crochet like kind of where <clears throat> this bar is so we're going to put one single crochet in there okay so we're just repeating that so put three single crochets in every empty chain space and one on the sides of the rows and then when you get to the bottom you're going to put three single crochets in the corner stitch and then repeat that um, pattern where we did three single crochets and one in the double treble three single crochets one in the double treble so i'll meet you at this little corner here all right so i made my way all the way around and i already have my three single crochets in that last empty chain space there so from there what I'm gonna do is put one single crochet into this corner stitch here so one single crochet here and then I'll move that thing one single crochet in that corner stitch and now we're working along the sides of double crochet rows so what you want to do is just make sure that you put two double crochets in the side of every row so I'm gonna I like to split my stitch in half I'm gonna count that first stitch as one and that one's two but in the side of every row you want to put two single crochets here so we're just going to line this side all the way around with uh, two single crochets in the side of every row uh, crochet over any tails you come up on and then when we get back to this kind of lattice stitch then you're going to follow the same rules so you want to do what we were doing over here just make sure you put uh, three single crochets in every corner and make sure you do um, three single crochets in every empty chain space and one in every in the side of every uh, part of the lattice so we're just going to go all the way around this thing with single crochets until we get all the way to the beginning all right so I've made my way all the way around with my border and I have a few stitches left here so this is the side of the chain space so I'll put three single crochets here one two and three and remember in the beginning we only put two single crochets in this corner stitch so I'm gonna put one more in there to make it three and then I'll just slip stitch into that first very first single crochet that we did just go ahead and slip stitch in there all right so once you slip stitch into that first stitch we're going to chain one and turn so this is the last row of our border. It's a pretty simple pattern. We're not going to be worrying about any corners or anything. We're just going straight across with this repeat. Okay, so in that same stitch that you just slip stitched in, we're going to put a single crochet and then chain three, two, three. And then we're going to do a slip stitch in that third chain from the hook. So I try to pick up two of the loops when I do that. And then we're going to slip stitch. So just pull this through the loop on your hook. And then we're going to skip one stitch and single crochet into the next stitch. So we're just doing a quick pico border. Okay. After you do that, you'll chain three again, one, two, three, and then slip stitch in that third chain space away. And then skip one and single crochet in the next stitch. 
chain three, slip stitch into that third chain space down, skip one and single crochet. So this is pretty much all we're doing the whole time. Like we're not worrying about any corners. Um, we're just doing this pattern all the way around until we get to the beginning of the row. So go ahead and do this all the way around the entire bikini until you get back to the beginning. So once you get to the end and you've made your way all the way around the entire bikini with this last row, um, if you have one stitch left here, then you can go ahead and just after a pico, so I have a single crochet, a pico, and I'm skipping one, but I'm just gonna like slip stitch into this uh, first single crochet of the row, and then chain one and cut and tie off. And so then I'm just gonna weave in all of my tails and then we'll start on the tie. These ties are a little bit different. I made a chain and then at the end of my chain, I have a pretty long tail here and I'm doing that because I need to weave this through, but and I want to put a flower there, but the flower won't fit into the holes that I have. So what you want to do is you want to measure out about 105 inches if you want to put the flower. If not, uh, you don't have to do this part. You can just chain it regular. Um, but just measure out 105 inches. So I'm just going to pull this so that's 60, 60 plus 45. I'm just going to measure that out. Forty-five. Okay, don't cut it, just hold it there. And so what you want to do after you measure out 105 inches, that's where you're going to create your slip knot. It's a little weird doing it in the middle like that. Okay. So after you create your slip knot, now we can make our chain in the middle. So size small, you can chain out 250, uh, medium 285, large is 320, extra large is 360, uh, 2x is 400, and 3x is 435. So chain that out and don't cut off. I'll be right there. All right, so once you chain out your um, amount of chains for your size, go ahead and find the other end here that has the tail already on it. And then we're just going to align it with, um, with where we are and just also leave the same size tail. So I'm just gonna put those together and then measure it out based on the first side and once I get to the end I'm going to cut it there and fasten off so I'm going to pull that whole thing through <laughs> pretty long okay so now we have our ties we're just going to weave this in through under the pico there's always a hole under all the picots so Starting from the bottom, I'm starting from the bottom. You can start at the top if you really want, but from the bottom, I'm just gonna like pick like this spot in the corner pico and start weaving that through on one side to about the middle. Weave that on through. And try to like find approximately the middle of your chain and then weave it through on the other side in the corner if you it doesn't have to be like exact corner but just like try to find the corner I'm gonna pick that one okay Uh oh tangle <laughs> 
We're just going to try to find like the middle. So you want to just put these together and you can kind of see where the middle is and just adjust that. I mean, it doesn't have to be super exact. There we go. <laughs> so I'm basically going to weave the two sides in. I'm going to weave them um, approximately where these bars are. I'm just going to pick a pico that's aligned with this bar and then go in there and just weave them back and forth. So I'm going to weave this side over here and then weave that side over there. Okay, so I weaved in the string and I just came out of this top corner here and every weave-in is kind of like next to a bar. So it's just the one, two, three bars and then the top corner. And so from there what you want to do is now we're going to um, make our flower. So I'm going to... Um, insert my hook into this loop here just in the last uh, chain that you made just put your hook in there I keep splitting the yarn okay I finally got my hook through and so what you want to do is Go ahead and just pull up a loop so when you pull up a loop we're going to one two three slip stitch into the third chain from the hook and then we're going to start our flower so i'm just going to slip stitch there and to do your flower you want to chain three one two three okay and then yarn, yarn over and put a double crochet in the middle of this loop. You can use four stitches if you don't like, um, if, if it's too tight for you. There's the middle. So we'll put a double crochet in the middle there. Oops, one and two. And then we'll put one more double crochet there. One, two. And then from there, I'm going to chain three and slip stitch back into this loop here. And that's the first petal of the flower. And then from there, we're just going to repeat that five more times. So chain three. One, two, three, and then put two double crochets. And then chain three and slip stitch into the center. So it's pretty tight, but we're going to go ahead and do this until we have six petals. All right, so I have six petals, but I need to go ahead and chain three again. One, two, three at the end. And then slip stitch into, kind of pull that a little bit so I have some space. But slip stitch back into the loop here. There we go slip stitch and then chain one and really don't have to tie off but you just pull that loop through and now you have a flower at the end of your tie and so what we're gonna do is just go ahead and repeat that for the second side so put your flower here if you did and then we're going to um, repeat the tie for the opposite side so make your second tie and weave that through and do your flower and you are finished so thank you guys so much for watching I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial 
um thank you so much for watching don't forget to like subscribe hit the notification bell if you like this video and i will see you on the next video